Pornhub. Just remaining. the way that game went. Very not safe for work. It was it was a graping. Very terrible. Time. Just uh, hard to watch. Uh, Team Random. I think they want more of the same. Nature's Profit, Clockwork, Razor. I mean, you're 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 giving Nature's Profit to the man who pop your pop your your why yeah mead that hero pop your can't say that word I guess just uh, a little bit of tongue to twister for me <laughs> try it again next game but Nature's Profit Clockwork Razor Spirit Breaker Crystal Maiden Bristleback team is random maybe you see a Dark Seer come out with this Spirit Breaker you've got Bristleback that'll be in the safe lane. Crystal Maiden Radiant Spirit team. Breaker being your supports. Lena over mid for team is random. Nature's Prophet Clockwork Razor. So position for Clockwork. Nature's Prophet off lane uh, Razor. Uh, we don't know where he's going to go. You know, it depends because he, we've seen him safe lane. We've seen him mid. So we'll have to see. Ten seconds remaining. Just Five what he wants to do, remaining. you know? What he can do. Reserve time. So, see if they go back to any of the fan favorites. Maybe a Drow again. And, you know, uh, support wise, could we get an Ogre Magi again? Always fun. Would be nice to see. We'll need some Ogre Magi. And plus, you know, they, they have. They have cogs to lock them up. They have sprout. They just need they need a really reliable stun, and and they're actually going to go with the wisp. So now you oof, wow, you've got a lot of mobility for the side of ding dung. You've got wisp clockwork. You know he can come in from long range with a hook shot. Nature's profit with the teleportation relocate of the wisp, and then um, ten seconds remaining. <sighs> If they want a reliable stun, they put Razor mid. You could go Sven. Seconds remaining. I wouldn't be surprised to see it. Reserve time. Uh, for team is random. I would say Darkseer comes out for them. Uh, Darkseer with the Ion Shell and Spirit Breaker. You try to get those early kills. Radiant team ban. And they ban out the Tiny. So Tiny and Wisp is usually that typical combination. They go with the Shadow Feet. So, Shadow Fiend mid, that's going to be Cancel on the Shadow Fiend, Gork on the Razor again, uh, Wisp. Uh, it's probably going to be Sing Sing. It could be uh, MDL between them and the Clockwork. And then uh, Nature's Prophet. Five is, seconds I would remaining. say have to be Bulldog. Reserve time. So let's see what team is random picks up next. See what they want to go with as this last pick. They could even throw Bristle back in the off lane and go with something else safe lane. But they do have some time to think what they want. What they'd go safe lane. It's kind of rough. You can't go Spectre. Hope I don't see another Anti-Mage. But 13 seconds left. Team is random. He's going to talk about it. They'll get the Weaver. So Weaver, Lena, Spirit Breaker, Crystal Maiden, Bristleback. And then cancel on that. Shadow Fiend, MDL on the Wisp, Gork on the Razor again, Sing Sing is going to be on the Clockwork, and of course, Bulldog on the Nature's Prophet.
Just about ready to go here. Another best of one. Ten seconds remaining. See what they intend Five to do with remaining. this laning phase. Her team is random if they send the bristle back safe lane or weaver off lane. They are very interchangeable. Take a look at the other team. Shadow Fiend, uh, Wisp, Razor, Clockwork, Nature's Prophet are all together. They uh ready to go. So immediately the game paused, because why not? Got Warma on the Bristleback, Burke CMR on the Crystal Maiden, Che Chan on Weaver, La is on that Spirit Breaker, and Velsen is on the Lena. That way you say Weaver? Lena? See how these lanes set up. I kind of want to know where this wisp is going to go. Um, going for the cog souls. Are they going to do it? There it is. One, two, three, possibly four. I, mean, I didn't think about that in the draft. Clockwork in the Shadow Fiend. I, I didn't say that at all. And uh, that's something we've seen quite often recently. Get that Cog Soul because you're killing Cogs and making them extinct. And they're only going to take uh, four stacks of Cogs. So four stacks of Cogs. Now more. 13, 14, 15. MDL, is he going to be sitting mid with Cancel? That's really going to be interesting to see. He's got 15 souls on him with a max of 18, so he'll deny a couple of creeps. He'll get this bounty rune and be very far ahead. We take a look over as I think it's going to be the Lena over mid. So Lena is pretty squishy early on in this game. You're going to have a Shadow Fiend with almost instantly 18 souls. As the Lena, you're going to have to watch out because especially with this Wisp, he'll be able to dive you pretty well. And Lena not, not really tanky enough to take that kind of harassment in the in the beginning of the game. So they're just slowing down this lane. Cogs are super utility at this point in life. And he's going to be up against this Spirit Breaker, Crystal Maiden, Weaver combination. And they're immediately going to go for that charge. Bulldog charged up. Let's see if they get the Frostbite. Chikuchi comes out. Maybe Che Chang goes for the Body Blocks. Bulldog might be in a little bit of trouble. A couple more shots should take him out. But the Cogs push him all away. And Cogs proving to be just a nuisance in this early game. So let's take a look over mid. Cancel does have 18 souls on him. But getting hurt by this Lena. Eating those dragon slaves, getting very low. You don't want to lose those souls early. You know, you took all that time to get those souls. And when that first death does happen, you, you kind of... It is frustrating, especially if you don't get first blood with those early souls. That's what you're really trying to achieve. So, Clockwork is nearby. Just trying to set it up if they can. Let me take a look over bottom. I think MDL is making his way towards the Razor. Not level 2 just yet. But with the Tether, maybe they go in uh, with the heal that will be coming up to go in on this Bristle. If they can sap enough of that damage. Take a look over. Made Crystal Maidens. Made, made the travel. Made the trip. You know, sisters. Sisters to the end. Of course. Boy, that's a haste for Clockwork, and now the Lena might be in a little bit of trouble. They need to watch out. The Frostbite's going to come on through. Maybe you can get the cog set up. Maybe backs up for just a moment, but Lena, you need to be very careful going in. If cogs come out on you, you're more than dead with the raises that'll fly in from Cancel. Yes, 
that. So, top three on the CS chart are all again from this Ding Dong squad. And I'll take a look over his clockwork. Sing Sing, he's going to be charged up. Not too sure if he's going to make it all the way out. He's making a lot of distance between him and the Crystal Maiden. Gets hit by that charge, and he's only level one, so not really a big deal. There is the nice cog set up. He's going to hit away with this. No battery assault just yet. He looks towards Ancients to try and avoid getting killed, but first blood goes the way of Cancel. Wisp might be in a little bit of trouble. Does have Tether in a second. Gets away. Root. Not too much to hand. So this sister babysitting lane is happening for Team Random. Not wings, by the way. Or X wings. You know, level 4, and now with cancel, 24 souls just hits this Lena so hard. They're not going to dive in, and they'll actually change their attention towards the Crystal Maiden. They'll get the cogs most likely, and they may not even need it. He's going to try and run into Roche, not going to matter. Lena tries to follow it up. I don't know what you're expecting from that. The raise is coming from Cancel. There's the cogs to push you and disjoint you, and you're dead as well. Both sisters will fall. There's a mom in mourning somewhere. Take a look, Bulldog just farming top, doing very well, 22 and 16. They've already got a 2k net worth advantage. The phase boot's coming out on both Bulldog as well as the Razor, and that's really where you're able to get that static going, chase down these heroes, oh. sap enough damage, and, and with a hero like Bristleback, we saw it last game, where you want to be able to burst them out with the Plasma Field. So, and... Back to what happens. They get the kill. Gork is going to salve up. MDL is actually going to break that tether, and he's getting charged. But again, this is still just a level 1 Spirit Breaker. He ends up grabbing the Bounty Rune, which does make him level 2, hoping to get himself that nice bash. But now with the tether coming out on Gork, Spirit Breaker is probably dead. He is charging just a second. Can he get away? Not going to be able to. And Gork gets the kill, and that's another one going the way of Ding Dong up 5 to nothing. So they're going to look to charge again on Bulldog, but you've got Sing Sing here, and Bulldog is TPing back to base already, so he'll be out of harm's way. Cancel just doing a very good job over in this mid lane, and, and now they've got the Wisp with the Tether. Raze comes out, avoiding the Light Strike Array, surviving, and... And that's pretty much it. That's been the extent of the damage they've been throwing at this Ding Dong squad. 5-0, 3k net worth lead. Just very easy. Take a look over mid. Spare Breakers here with the Lina. And coming over is going to be Sing Sing. Only level 3, so no hookshot available or anything of the sort. And that's really their only... Only stun possibility. A golden thread. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. So, Bulldog just continue to push, continue to farm up. We're eh, we're at that time where we can just switch it to the net worth. Why not? Radiance middle tower is under attack. Dyer's so you take a look. Is under attack. Three heroes lead the net worth lead for Ding Dong, and they're going to TP back over mid as Cancel is going to continue to farm up. Finish off those treads in just a moment. He has enough for the Gloves of Haze looking for the Belt of Strength. Next, as we take a look over bottom, the charge is almost coming in all the way on Gork. I'm not too sure why you'd go in on that. Battery Assault is ready in wait, but now with it used, it'll be on cooldown and you should be okay. And Bulldog's going to TP over mid, and this is what he did last game where he was... Where he was, you know, just pushing it out, getting these towers, and ultimately by 10 minutes, they had, were down to no tier twos. Dyer's middle tower has fallen. 
Dyer's middle tower is under attack. So now they look towards the tier two. Nothing stopping Bulldog really. You take a look over at the bristle, you'll sprout him up. Cancel's coming over. Doesn't have Requiem. He's only level eight, and he's got that four on raises. So he's cleaning up these creep waves. And really, what do you do if your team random in terms of Radiant's defending? Gonna move all the way up top, and he's looking to finish yeah. off this drum as he did last game. That was his first item. Take a look at the other side. Bristleback. He's got nothing. Boots, window ice, 300 gold, weaver. Not really too much for him and Aqua. Waiting for him. Lena. No talismans. You know, soaring. Nothing, nothing too crazy. Just so far ahead, 6,000 net worth already. Let's take a look. Che Chan. So far behind, double drums. Now you roll with the beat of your own drum. And now they're going to push up top, so they'll take this last tier 1 tower. Nothing stopping them again. Why would you defend? This is the same case as the last game, where they're going to get pushed in because this team hit so hard early. With the advantage they have, they hit too hard for Team Random to defend. You continue to move on forward. You take these towers, trying to force the hand. If Team Random come, you win a team fight. And if they don't, you get an easy tower. So there it is. Treant's just working away at this tower. Weaver and Lena are here. They can kind of defend with the Shikuchi as well as the Dragon Slave. But Cancel moving forward. Gork with the extra damage. Bulldog's going to come in. They're going to try and get the Sprout. They do get it on the Lena. He's going to be dead as well. And that's two dead. Seven to nothing. 7,000 net worth lead. They're pushing these creeps out. And that'll be a dead tier two eventually. You know, this creep wave pushing in. Everybody's up top for the side of Ding Dong. We'll end up getting that tier two. So th th again, they're just going to continue this this game plan until somebody until somebody really counters them in such a way where they can't do this. You'll continue to move forward, continue to go in for the tier twos, to take all these outer towers, and, and nothing will really stand in your way. in while crystal maiden's dead and it's eight nothing in favor of ding dong radiance bottom tower is under attack so now again this is the plan they've used every time push him out get a couple of kills radiance go for roche get aegis and attack. finish <laughs> This, this really looks like the Globetrotters beating the Generals. Generals never win. Take a look, Weaver. Nothing really except that Aqua. Again, we'll take a look around the horn. Bristle back. He, he's looking for a wand. 12 minutes in, he's looking for a wand. It is just oof. down so much. I'm kind of corralled in their base. At what point, and you know, again, you get these these teams that are pretty fanboy. But at what point do you really just call GG, knowing you're not going to come back? Eight nothing, eleven thousand net worth down. Your tier threes are getting pushed. 
where is the point where you finally tap out? If you do. Got Shadow Fiend as well as the Wisp just pushing top. And then you take a look over bottom. And they're taking the last outer tower. Nothing really stopping them. You take a look up top. There's the charge coming in. Can they even get this kill on to cancel? And there's the relocate out. Gonna relocate him back to base. He'll be full up. Coming over is gonna be Sing Sing on this clockwork. Let's see if they can get themselves a nice hook shot. Cancel's gonna come on over there. Does the play with Bulldog TPing in. Yeah, Cancel doesn't come back with him in the tether. Charge coming out just for creeps. Now level 6, 13 minutes in, so that's nice. You, you get that. Now they're going to continue to push. Gork pushing this tier 3. Hookshot's going to miss. And yeah, you're pretty much team random. They're here. They want to talk a little bit in all chat. But it, it, it's, it's, it's a rough game for them. Down 8-0. It seems like if a if a team, a professional team, was just playing a bunch of, you know, pub players, not even pub stars, and that's where it comes down to in the open qualifiers. But let's see. I'm always hoping for a comeback. Cinderella story. That's what I want to see. So Weaver setting up. No Lincolns, no Perseverance. Looking for something, but. You know, by the looks of it, I don't think he found it. And now, Cancel and Bulldog are just going to push bottom. There's the Sprout. Make those trees. Charge is going to come all the way through on a Cancel. Cancel's got himself Requiem if he chooses to use it. But these treants are just going to hit away at this tower. They brought this tier 3 to about 66% health. And they're still continuing to stay close. They've got the Tether coming in. And I think that's a relocate out for Cancel just in case. And it is. It's back over towards mid. So now they're going to push. They want to split push as best they can. They've got this creep wave pushed into the tier 3. And now they want to push over mid. Just continue to move around team random. And, you know, look over top. Now they're forced to move over mid. Blade Mail's out on this clockwork. Let's see if Sing Sing can land the hook this time. As they are sitting attack. over mid. And it's up. Now here comes the charge. Going all the way in. Can he land a hook shot before he gets there? No, the charge is going to hit from the Spirit Breaker. Now they go into onto this Bristleback. Blocked by those cogs. Cancel gets an easy kill. Bristleback dead does have buyback though. I, I don't know if you... If it's really necessary to use it, they get the frostbite coming through onto Gork. He's going to be charged up. They're trying to make something happen. Maybe they get the Laguna Blade. Gork in a little bit of trouble. The Laguna Blade hits. Not going to get the kill. Bulldog's going to TP in. Now they've got the Sprout on the Spirit Breaker. Chris Maiden's going to be dead in just about a moment longer. Gork's going to end up falling, so they finally get their first kill of the game. But it's now 9 to 1. Spirit Breaker's going to be the next one to drop as Sing Sing's in there with the Blade Mail. But he'll drop. So 10 to 2. They've just upped their kill count by infinity. And Bulldog now just trying to run away. Cancel. He's got himself that Shadow Amulet with the Shadow Blade coming over. And you're just going to get juked out by that nice Courier. You've got the raises coming through on the Lena. You get yourself a kill. Weaver's got a triple kill all of a sudden. But Cancel starts to hit away both the Bristle and the Weaver. Still is yet to use that Requiem. Here comes the Crystal Maiden. And just like that, they'll relocate out. And Cancel comes back with MDL. They're going to try and make something happen. There's the ult used on MDL. I'm not too sure they really care about it. If the Wisp goes down, he's already used Relocate. I don't know if they're even going to lose him. There's going to be the time lapse used by the Weaver. Crystalback trying to get that kill on the Wisp. They finally do. But they're going to trade one at least in the Crystal Maiden. They finally get down this uh, Weaver who's been wreaking a little bit of havoc. And he'll end up dropping. And they're going to lose the Lena as well. And buying back is going to be MDL. Gork going to continue to push. He'll get the kill on Bristleback. And now it, it just looks more and more grim. It's a 17,000 net worth lead again. Matching what they had last game. Now they're going to push over mid. As everybody on the side of Team Random buys back. Because again, why not? 
He's gonna stop that charge. Not gonna go all the way through. Now he's gonna be locked up in the sprout. The plasma field comes out. Is out for this clockwork. Gonna do a little bit of work to the Bristleback. They finally bring down Sing Sing, but they've got themselves a kill in Bristleback. He's dead for 33 seconds. They look towards getting this Dragon Slave as well as the Light Strike Array on Bulldog. The charge comes in, but he's not gonna be able to survive it as the Plasma Field hits and they get the kill. Bulldog, though, is gonna get chased by this Weaver. There's the Sprout. He's gonna TP out with low health and he'll be able to escape with ease. The Tether gets stopped on Bulldog. Now MDL comes over and Tethers Gork. 18 to 5. And they're still seated. So they get this mid set Arax, the charge coming all the way through on Gork, not gonna make it. The hook shot comes through. That's gonna be a hook shot coming out on the Crystal Maiden, who's gonna end up falling. They look towards the top. They've got three heroes here. Relocate out of both the Wisp and Shadow Fiend. They're actually going to go back in. Cancel getting very low. They're going to relocate up about 5 feet. But the charge is going to come in and just the Wisp goes. They finally take out the Spirit Breaker with Gork hitting away. And they're not losing anything. It's 20 to 5. This is just a slaughter. Out to the Butcher. Out to the Slaughterhouse. They're continuing to move. They'll tear down the Bristle again. And you're frostbiting a creep. What are you even doing? Crystal Maiden trying to run away. It'll drop to cancel. 23 to 5. And random. Finally call GG. Ding dong. Moving on to the next round. So let's take a look again at this graph. And the scoreboard. 12,000 net worth, all these GPMs way higher than the other team. Even uh, Sing Sing and MDL close to being higher than everybody on the side of uh, team is random in terms of GPM. A great game overall, 9-0 for Cancel, 4-1 for Bulldog. Uh, great game and the definition of a stomp. That video again will be found as part two to the other video. And uh, we'll be back with the next game in just a moment. I'm your caster, B-Cop, at B-Cop92. Let's see what we get next. Stay right there. We'll be back in just a moment.